हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू भोलानाथ अकेडमी टू डे स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी लुइस थियरी ऑफ एसिड एंड बेसिस नाउ इन लास्ट वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स वी वी हैव सीन सॉल्वेंट सिस्टम कंसेप्ट दैट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज आटो आयनाइजेशन कॉम्प्लेक्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी द लुइस थियरी ऑफ एसिड एंड बेसिस नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू लुइस स्टूडेंट्स विच सब्सटेंस वी कॉल एज एसिड विच वन इज द बेस नाउ एसिड द सब्सटेंस विच कैन एक्सेप्ट ए पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम अदर सब्सटेंस टू फॉर्म ए कॉर्डिनेट बॉन्ड इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट एसिड If the substance which, which can accept a pair of electron, the substance which can accept a pair of electron from other substance to form coordinate bond, then that substance is called as what acid. Understand, students? So in one sentence we can say electron acceptors are called as what acid. The substance which accept the electrons we call as what acid. Now, what is the base substance? The substance which can donate a pair of electrons to other substance to form coordinate bond. So that substance we call as what base. Understanding students, so the, which substance is base? The substance which donate a pair of electrons. So electron donors, the substance which donate the electrons, we call as what bases. Now here students, we are going to see one more example. Ammonia students. Here ammonia is come. When you see the in ammonia students, nitrogen is having what lone pair. Now this ammonia will donate the lone pair, these electrons, to the H plus ion. It will form what ammonium. Now here also students, there is a what. forward reaction and this will again come unstable so it will make the reverse reaction also understanding so here ammonia is donating so it is what basic and proton is accepted that is why h plus is called as what acid understanding students here it is act as what base now here students h plus why we are getting protons are acidic so because of it is accepting electrons so it is what acidic understanding students So consider the reaction between boron trifluoride and ammonia. Now here, students, when you see again, boron trifluoride is accepting electrons. Understanding from nitrogen, nitrogen of ammonia is donating lone pair to the boron. So since it is donating, since lone pair, it is donating to the boron. Boron is what electron deficient atom. So here the lone nitrogen of the ammonia is donating lone pair to boron. and it is forming what coordination covalent bond that is why we call as what boron trifluoride is acid and ammonia is what base here also we call as this is called as lewis acid and this is what lewis base because this concept was given by lewis santis so we called as what lewis acid and lewis base understanding in this compound students this part will be lewis base and this is what lewis acid understanding and it is formed because this arrow will shows the coordinate covalent bond coordinate because both the electrons are coming from nitrogen for the formation of bond so that is why it is called as what coordinate covalent bond understanding students now when you see in this compound this part is lewis acid and this part is called as lewis base now students what are the limitations students the lewis concept is too general and include all reactant which can form coordinate bond so these are the limitations students the lewis acid is what it has got some limitation the lewis concept is too general to include all the reactant which can form coordination bond only only for the coordination bond this concept was there even metal in their zero oxidation state say for example iron cobalt nickel and manganese are term as a lewis acid in their complexes with the pi acceptor ligand such as cyclopenta in co as a cobalt students cyclopentadiene and alkenes understand students the relative strength of the acid and base cannot be explained on the basis of lewis concept so these are the limitations of the lewis theory now to overcome students this lewis theory one more theory coming students that is called as usnovich concept now what happens in this concept students according to this concept what is the acid an acid is a chemical species which is capable of combining with anions of electrons or giving up cations so according to this the concept students usnovich concept an acid which substance we call as acid acid is any chemical species is talking about all the any chemicals species which is a capable of combining with anions of electrons are giving of cations so this is called as what acid so acid is any chemical species which is capable of combining with anions if it is able to combines with anions so of electrons are giving up cations then it is called as what acid understanding base according to this theory students base is a defined as any species which is capable of giving up anions of electrons are combining with the cations is called as what base the definition include all the lewis acid 
bases and all the redox reaction which may consist of complete transfer of one or more electrons understand this means whether the electron is one or two so this definition is for all it is including lewis acid bases and redox reaction also now what happens means say for example means chlorine chlorine will combines with sodium now here chlorine will act as a acid and so sodium will be at what base that is why it is forming what salt understand this means how it is forming so here chlorine will be chlorine gas will be acidic and this sodium will act as a what base the actual set of reaction can be shown in follows say for example here students if you want to explain this concept you can see like this sodium what happens students this is sodium metals which are solid in state what happens students this sodium will gives out two electron that is why here it is act as a what base understand students now what happens same way chlorine will accept this two electron and it will form chloride ion here you are getting sodium cations and here you are getting what chloride ion so it is act as what acid understand students so this is the net reaction students that means here it is what base and it is what acid you are getting what salt understand these are very important students now since sodium gives up electrons hence it is a usnovich base and chlorine combines with these electrons hence it is what usnovich acid now what are the advantages students of this concept this concept is a advantages in classifying together all the example of acid and base you can classify into different different part it is thus the most general concept of acid and bases understand students now what are the limitation it had a, it uh, concept is also got some limitation students this concept is like a synthesis for all the previous acid base concept and hence this risk this uh, respect this concept becomes a extremely general it is also becoming very general it include many reaction such as oxidation reduction reaction which can perhaps be better considered for the some other point of view this theory students virtually consider all the chemical acid base reaction so these are the limitations students so if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much